Sabra Lane reporting. When Cyclone Ita crossed the far north Queensland coast in April, most people were spared its full intensity, but the Category 5 cyclone left a devastating trail of destruction on the Great Barrier Reef. An underwater mapping survey has for the first time given scientists a striking visual record of the reef before and after the storm to show exactly what a cyclone does to coral. Connor Duffy reports. On the outer Great Barrier Reef, about 90 kilometres northeast of Cairns, a small team is spending a week at sea. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Three times a day they dive to the bottom to find out how Cyclone Ita, a Category 5 storm, has changed one of the world's greatest natural wonders. Does it make science cool? Well, it's certainly a lot of fun doing the project. We've got underwater scooters, incredible cameras that take 360-degree imagery. Um, we have encounters with big sharks, manta rays. Um, it's a lot of fun. Cyclone Ita, which was a Category 5 cyclone, hit this area, and we're here to record the damage. Richard Vivas is the project director for the Catalan Seaview Survey, a global effort to photograph and create an underwater version of Google Maps for the world's reefs. 99.9% .9 of people don't dive and they probably never will. So it's incredibly important to engage people with these environments and let people see how important it is to protect them. Marine biologist Anjani Ganesh operates this custom-designed camera called the SV2, which captures 360-degree images. Our surveys are 45 minutes long, and during that time we, we use the scooters to cover about two kilometres of reef in length, and we have the images being taken every three seconds. So on average for a dive, we have about 900 to 1,000 images per camera. Today's task is to visit an area of the reef that's undergone a big change. The coral here has been smashed by Cyclone Ita. It has none of its usual colours and in places has been completely flattened. There are areas that were completely devastated. A lot of the more branching corals, the fragile corals, were uh, basically turned into rubble. In fact, the reef had changed so much, the divers didn't know if they were filming in the right places to allow the before and after comparisons. But we jumped in the water and everything has changed. You had three metre corals that have been tossed over, so all our reference points were gone. But the team did match the before and after pictures and the results are striking. This pre-cyclone footage shows a purple clam surrounded by colour and life. After the storm, the same area is surrounded by dull rubble. Another before and after uses this striking purple coral as a reference. Cyclone Ita only left behind a fragment. It was just unlike anything I've seen before. You can't even imagine the the force to turn some of these boulders over and just throw them about. And certain sites we went to, it was, was quite eye-opening. I was surprised at how quickly the, the corals which have been, uh, especially the branching corals which have been smashed, and um, you can see the damage, but it gets covered in algae very quickly, and it has this almost moon-like landscape to the views. In good news for the diving industry, just 50 metres away though, other coral reefs escaped unscathed. Scientists will now study why some areas survive and others are flattened. You have such channelled force in some areas which have completely smashed those, those sites, but 50 metres away there's a site with really quite fragile fan corals and, and other corals which haven't been affected hardly at all. Back on land, the images are being processed in partnership with the University of Queensland. 
The exact before and after 360 degree images are being painstakingly put together. They'll be supplied to scientists for study and published on the internet to allow people to experience a dive without getting wet. On the outer grave, about Cyclone Ita and Lepages. Today's task is to visit an area of the reef that's undergone a big change. The coral here has been smashed by Cyclone Ita. It has none of its usual colours and in places has been completely flattened. There were areas that were completely devastated. A lot of the more branching corals, the fragile.